everyone, this is Edgy. Today's video is a cross between my June favourite and a cosplay review video. As you all know, I'm going to be cosplaying Lucy Hartfelia in October at the MCM Comic Con in London. And I thought I would just review and show you guys all the stuff I've got so far. I've pretty much got everything I need. The only things I've not got is the actual costume and the boots. So I'll probably do another review video when I actually finally get them. Okay, so let's start. The first one that I'm going to show you is the fairy tale guild mark that Lucy gets on the back of her right hand. Got these ones. It's a temporary tattoo. So it's a bit shiny. It's a temporary tattoo, and I got these ones. I got two of them just in case something went wrong with one. And I got them from Etsy from the caffeinated rose, and they would cost one ninety nine each, which wasn't too bad a price. The shipping was about £11 something or other, I can't quite remember what, but they did come all the way from America. So it's not too bad really, and they are really good quality ones. I, I know I got two in case something went wrong with the other and I've not tried them yet, but they look really good quality and they look really well made, so hopefully they'll look really good on the day. Okay, next thing I got is I got some blue running shorts from New Look. I only got these because I know Lucy in the anime and the manga, her skirts are really short. I don't know what they're like for the actual cosplay. I don't know if the skirt's a bit longer or if it is still quite short. But either way, I'm going on October. It's going to be quite cold. It might be windy, who knows. So I thought I'd better get some shorts just in case. And I managed to find some and I know they're still in the bag. But they pretty close colour blue for what her skirt looks like. So I'm pretty happy with those. And they only sent me back about 6 99 so that's, again, it's a pretty good price and they're pretty good quality. They're really soft and they're really nice to wear. I have tried I have tried these ones on. Okay, the next thing I got is I got a it's called a leather brown keychain bag case key holder with belt loop, if that makes sense. It's basically the key holder. Here, I'll get it out of the bag. It's the key holder that Lucy has to hold all of her celestial keys in it. So there it is, and it even has the fairy tale guild mark on it, which is pretty cool. It is kind of small, but it's a really good quality one. That like you can open it up, and it's got a key, like a key ring to put the keys on, and it's really good quality one. It's really nicely made. I really like the feel of it, and even even the buttons on the back. I don't know how well you'll be able to see them. Even they have the fairy tale guild mark on them, which I thought was really good. This is really well made. I can't find any problems with this at all. The only thing I'm wondering is like, because I have got the keys as well and I'll show you them in a minute. They also came with their own lube. I don't know if it's going to fit on this, so I'll probably have to swap them around. But yeah, I really like this and this one cost me £3.96, which is really good because I found some other ones on the internet which were like £30. I wasn't going to be paying that much for them, that's for sure. Right, and now I'll show you the keys. This set cost me £11.42, and this is the 22-piece set. I know there is a smaller set you can get, but I wanted to get this one because it had well, pretty much all the kind of keys you can get. This is the box that came in. It's really cool. You've got Mira Jane on there, Urza, Lucy, Natsu, and Grey. And you've also got Lucy on the back with Blue and Happy. It was pretty adorable. Now, this came packaged really well. And this is how it looks when they're all in there. Just trying to hold it up without them all falling out. The only thing is the key rings and that kind of squished it down a little bit, but luckily nothing was broken. Yeah, that's definitely not going to fit in my key holder. Now, the good thing about this is, when I looked at the pictures of them online, it only had five key rings on it, and I'd seen some reviews and people said they were really good, but it only came with five, and mine comes with, like, 21, I think it was, I counted, so that's more than enough. So, I was pretty happy with that. I got pretty much all of the rest of this off Amazon, by the way, in case you were wondering. I will put links in the description below. Now, this one also came with two necklaces. It came with one with the fairy tale guild mark on it, and it also came with Grey's sword necklace as well, which is pretty cool if I ever wanted to do like a gender bend grey cosplay or anything, or if I knew a guy who wanted to do a grey cosplay. Now what I love about this is it's got all 12 zodiac keys in it, and it's got some of the other keys in it, so like it's got um, it's got Plue's key, it's got the clock, 
Horologian, I think his name is, I can't pronounce it. It's got a couple other ones, it's got Lyra's Key, and they're all really well made. I'll show you a couple, like, they are kind of small, but they're pretty good as well. Like, this is Aquarius's Key. I mean, like, you can see against my hand, they are pretty small, but they are incredibly well made. Some of them look thinner than the others, but that could just be the key's design. And they are really, they make really well made. Look at the quality of that. It's pretty cool. And they've got all of them in here. Some of them, the only problem with them is some of the paint jobs on them. Because obviously the zodiac signs are painted, some are in red and some are in blue. Some of the paint jobs aren't perfect, but like that's the only problem I've got. Like this one, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on the camera, but there's a tiny little bit of paint missing right in the middle right there you probably can't see that one I think there's another one where the paint had sort of leaked a little bit to the side let's have to try and figure out which one that was oh here it is again it's so minute though like, I don't even know if you'll see it oh you can just about see it there with that little bit of red it's gone over but that other than that that's the only problem the only fault I found with these other than that they are incredibly well made and they're really nice the one the only thing is the holes at the top are so small it's like I'm hoping that the key they'll actually the key rings will fit through them I'm sure they will but that's the only other that's the only thing I'm a little bit worried about but yeah they are incredibly they're so nicely made and they come in a really nice box I love the way they've been displayed and yeah so I was really happy when these turned up the next thing I've got is my Lucy wig. Now, this came incredibly well packaged. This is pretty much how it came packaged. It is covered in tape. It, it honestly took me like 10 minutes just to even try to get into this. But this cost me, this was a bit more expensive, but in my personal opinion, you've got to pay more to get really good quality wigs. And this cost me £36.88 and it is a really nice really really nicely made wig and it even came with a wig cap there I, I didn't know it came with a wig cap so that was a really nice surprise I'm not going to get the wig out properly just because it's a nightmare to try and get back I'm trying to keep it in its packaging to keep it nice and clean and tidy but that's how it all came packaged together and it's got the main wig and it's got the ponytail that she has clipped to the side or well, that you clip to the side of your hair and it's, I have tried it on and it's really nice, it's really really long, it's a lot longer than what Lucy's hair is, but that doesn't really bother me, I mean if it did bother you, I suppose you could always cut it, I wouldn't just because I wouldn't want to ruin it, I mean you could always get a hairdresser to cut it, I suppose, but I'm just going to leave it as it is, it's really nice and the inside of the wig around the back, it's got... I don't know exactly what you call it, but you can basically change it and tighten it or loosen it to fit your head properly. So I don't know if you've got a bit of a smaller head, you can make it a bit tighter if you've got a bigger head or if you've got a lot of hair. I mean, as you can see, my hair's pretty short again at the moment, so I had I managed to put this pretty tight and it's a really nice feeling wig. Like I'll just, I'll just get it out a little bit just so you can maybe ooh, see it a little better. I mean, it's not great. It, it's in netting at the moment. But it's a really nice wig. It's so soft. It's it's really nice. It's like the first ever proper wig I've bought. Obviously, when I was younger and you go to Halloween parties, bought all those silly costume wigs, but none of them are as good as this one, so I'm really happy with that. The only thing is is because it's so long. I've never really used wigs before, so I don't know how to brush it. I don't know if you just brush it through with your fingers or if there's special brushes you can buy. If any of you know, please let me know in the comments because that would be really useful to know. Okay, the next item I bought was a Lucy Hartfelia leather whip for the cosplay, and, <laughs> and there it is. It's quite a long whip, as you can see, like really, really, really long. There you go. But I mean, look at the detailing on that. That is, it's really nicely made, and it is like proper leather as well, like. That is quite hard leather as well, but it's really nicely made and it'll look really nice with my cosplay. And this cost me $7.99 as well, so that's a really good price for the quality of it. And again, I got this from Amazon. 
and this this turned up really quickly. They estimated, I don't know, I think it was a few weeks that it could turn up at my place after I bought it. But all of this stuff turned up relatively quickly. I mean, some of the other bits like the wig and the keys and the key holder, they gave me almost getting on for a month within which it could turn up. But they all turned up in plenty of time. And they've all been really good quality, so I've been really happy with these. This will look great with my cosplay. It's just funny because my dog doesn't like this. As soon as I opened it up, she barked it and like ran away. She thought I was going to chase her with it or something. It was adorable. Bless her. And the last thing I bought was um, some black wristbands. Because in the anime and the manga, Lucy has a wristband on her left wrist. Yeah, she has one on left wrist and Natsu has one on his right one. And I wanted the cosplay to be as authentic as possible. So I got a packet of two. And these only cost me... £1.83 off Amazon, so they're really cheap and they're not a bad quality, they're nice and soft. I'm not 100% sure what material they're made of actually, but they're proper sweatbands and stuff and they are, like they fit quite well. Like that, so I think they look pretty good. Oh yeah, by the way, I got a tattoo. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just move over a bit. I got the Wings of Freedom from Attack on Titan. I got this tattoo a couple of weeks ago and it's almost pretty much fully healed now. It took nearly two hours to do. I'm not gonna lie, it hurt like a bitch. But I'm really happy with the quality of it. And I have how well you can see that. It's quite hard to twist my arm around. But look how cool that is. That's like my first ever tattoo as well and I decided to go for an anime inspired one. Yay! I don't know if I'll ever get any more. If I do, it'll probably be another anime one. It'll probably be a fairy tale one, to be honest with you. But yeah, anyway, getting sidetracked. Okay, so that's everything I've got so far for my Lucy cosplay. I hope you all enjoyed. I will be leaving links down in the description for all of these pieces that I bought. So you can go, if you want to make your own Lucy cosplay, you can go and find all the bits that I've found so far. I hope you're all having a great day. Don't forget to let me know in the comments as well what your favourites of this month are. And if you comment, I'll feature them in next month's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. And share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys all next time. This is Edgy Videos, signing out.